Hi, I'm Brian Hayes. I'm a Salesforce and Pardot consultant with Rotive. We're an official partner with Salesforce and we help small businesses automate their processes. In this video, I'm gonna talk about master detail relationships and when you might wanna use one. So the short answer is you wanna use a master detail relationship if you're interested in using a roll-up summary field on the master record, or if you wanna simplify the permissions and the security settings for that detail record. So let me explain what a master detail relationship is. A master detail relationship is created when you add a lookup field, a special kind of lookup field to a record. And so there's regular lookups, which is just a field that you can then uh, reference another existing record through. And then there's a master detail lookup. It works primarily the same way, but it gives you some extra features and in return, it has some additional restrictions as well. So I'm in a custom object here in Salesforce. I'm gonna click on new field, just so you can see where these are. And right in the middle, when you're choosing your field type, it says lookup relationship. And then underneath that, we have master detail relationship. And there's some extra bullet points here about what makes a master detail relationship special. Now, essentially what we're doing is we're tying the detail record to the master record. Uh, and so whenever you add a master detail relationship, it is required on that record. And because it's required, it allows us to do a couple things. The most important being roll up summary fields. So on the master record, I could then go back and add a roll up summary field. And we actually you know, have an example here, it's grayed out. It's not available on this particular object right now because no master detail relationships exist. Uh, but what a roll-up summary field lets you do is it lets you summarize a field value from the detail records or from the child records. So here's an example. Let's say we wanna add the ability to associate invoices with opportunities. So we create a custom object called invoice and we're gonna relate it to an opportunity. Well, we could relate it through a lookup relationship or we could relate it with a master detail relationship. If we choose master detail, then that means every invoice we create has to be related to an opportunity. In this case, that's probably fine because we're only gonna be invoicing for deals that we sold. There should be an opportunity for that thing we're invoicing for. And as long as we're okay with that, what we can then do is go to that opportunity and we could add a roll up summary field that counts the number of invoices associated with it, or perhaps sums the amount of money that's been invoiced. We can then look at that amount that's been invoiced and compare it to the amount of the opportunity and calculate the difference. So there's lots of really useful things like that that you can do with a roll up summary that the only other way to do it would be with Apex or a, or a custom flow. The second reason why you might want to use a master detail relationship is to simplify permissions and access to that detail record. What will happen uh, with a detail record in the master detail relationship is it will inherit whatever the master's permissions are for access. So let's take that opportunity as another example. We can set it up so if somebody has access to the opportunity, they would then also have access to the underlying invoice. This actually isn't required. We can set up extra restrictions to prevent certain profiles from even seeing that invoice. But if we want to simplify it, we can just have the invoice inherit the master, the opportunity objects access rules. And so to review, there's really two reasons why you might wanna use a master detail relationship instead of a traditional lookup relationship. The first one and most important is you wanna take advantage of roll up summary fields on the master object. The second one is you might wanna simplify record permissions and have that detail record inherit whatever the parent record, the master records, record access rules are. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. If you'd like more videos about Salesforce and Pardot and automation, please hit subscribe. Thank you for watching.